this is Arena Shejarla welcome to easy btech today in this class we are going to learn about an another important routing algorithm is broadcast routing algorithm so let us get into the topic what is meant by broadcast routing algorithm right so broadcasting in the name itself you already read in the previous classes what is meant by an broadcasting so broadcasting means when we are transmitting a data packet in a particular network from source to destination so the data packet will be received by a remaining devices that connected to the network okay so that is an broadcasting here what is the broadcast routing broadcast routing how the routing will be broadcasted right the broadcast packets are not routed the broadcast packets are not routed and forwarded by the routers on any network okay this will be this broadcast packets will be forwarded by the routers on any network so it creates the router creates and broadcast domains to deliver this broadcast messages to network devices to deliver this broadcast messages to network devices here that is the main thing the broadcast packet are not routed it will be forwarded by using a routers while we are calling this uh, when we are calling this broadcast packets means the router creates an broadcast domains broadcast domains means it will be pass this particular packet to different network devices right so these broadcast messages will be delivered to all the network devices that is an broadcast routing this particular routing will be done by two ways done by two ways the first thing coming to the first thing here the router creates a data packet and then sends to each host one by one here the router creates a data packet and then sends it to each host one by one one by one that means the router creates the multiple copies of single data packet with different destination addresses it creates a multiple copies of single data packet with a different destination address nothing but that there are two or more devices connected to that network we have only one packet that will be delivered from source to destination right okay so here i already said the router creates and broadcast domains to deliver this broadcast messages okay how the particular the router creates a data packet that uh, contain that will be uh, that will be divided into multiple copies with a different destination address i will show you one diagram here okay let us see the diagram see here i am taking nodes three nodes that connected to one router okay so this is one type of network right one type of network this is a source this is destination okay i want to send data uh, i'll write another okay i want to send data from source to destination right here the particular router creates a data packet creates a data packet that will be divided into multiple copies multiple copies let us see i have a packet a single packet p1 this will be divided into 3 p1 p1 three multiple copies i have a four devices here see this is a and this is b c and this is t right okay so this packet p1 this is an original packet and this is all the duplicate packets or multiple copies 
and this particular router the packet uh, whenever this particular source this send this packet to p1 this particular router that will be divided into multiple copies multiple copies and this router sends this multiple copies to each and every device that connected to the network each and every device that connected to the network with a different destination address. Destination address means here uh, I am writing in 1, 2, 3 and this is an 4. So the, we let us assume these are the destination address of 4 devices and packet P1 as 1 and this will be 2, 2. And this is 3, 4. Right. Okay. So, here the packet, the particular copies of packet will be sent to the particular destination address. So, this is a one type of routing. This is one type of broadcasting. So, how we can say this is a broadcasting means whenever I am sending one packet from source to destination, it divided into multiple copies and it sends to the Different, by using a different destination, it sends to the, all the devices that connected to the network. So, this is one type, of, this is the one of the way of a broadcasting, right? Okay, so like that, the router uh, that divides, the, that uh, creates and multiple copies of a single data packet with a different destination address and these packets will be uh, received by all the hosts that connected to the particular network. This is one type of way and the second one, when the router receives a packet, when the router receives the packet that is to be broadcasted. It simply floods those packets out of all interfaces. It simply floods those packets out of all interfaces. See the diagram here. So this is an, I will show you one diagram. So let us see the diagram. This is the actual diagram. See. So this is an source, right? See this diagram very carefully and this is an destination. Destination, okay. So these are the other devices that connected to the particular uh, network. These are the other devices that connected to the particular network. Whenever this particular router, this particular router receives the packet, okay, it just floods, means it just distributed this packet to the interfaces. See, these are the interfaces. Interfaces. So, whenever this particular packet floods these interfaces and each and every device receives and duplicate copies. Duplicate copies. Means here in the previous one, we see uh, the particular single packet will be divided into multiple copies. Only one copy will be sent to the one device. When this is in this in this one, whenever the router receives the packet, it floods the uh, packet into the interfaces. By using this interfaces, see number of duplicated packets will be received by the particular. Uh, devices that connected to the hopes uh, sorry that connected to the network okay so this is an uh, this is an a drawback of the single way uh, and it is very easy but the drawback is duplicate of packets received by the different host duplicate of packets received by a uh, different host to eliminate this duplication of packets to eliminate this duplication of packets we introduce one of the multicast algorithm. We introduce one of the multicast algorithm that is a reverse path, reverse path forwarding. See, let us uh, think in the previous classes we already uh, discussed about and flooding in that uh, the sequence number and the reverse path forwarding. These are the controlled flooding, controlled flooding. Okay, the sequence uh, path, the sequence number path is already we discussed in the previous classes. This is a reverse path forwarding technique algorithm. What is the main uh, use of reverse path forwarding technique? It reduces or uh, the main intention is it reduces to, it detects and discards the duplicate of packets. It 
it discards and detects the duplicate of a packet so what is meant by reverse path forwarding reverse path forwarding so let us see the diagram so this is a reverse path uh, reverse path forwarding this is source and this is a destination right okay so whenever the packet whenever the packet is forwarding to the router whenever the power, uh, pack forwarding the router so it just checks the address it just check the address where it comes from where it comes from okay so by using that interface okay it reduces the duplication of packets it detects the duplication of a packets the only the packet the one packet will be so uh, whenever we uh, send one packet from source to destination that packet will be received by the destination in the network so this is uh, this uh, reverse path forwarding means it will check where it comes from where it comes from where from where the router it comes from uh, to the next router it just checks that uh, address and forward that particular packet to the next router if the duplications will rise it uh, the particular router will discard the actual packet right so this is a technique we use uh, to reduce or to detect this duplication of a packets in broadcasting and this reverse path forwarding is an multicast routing algorithm multicast routing algorithm right so in routing algorithms we have unicast broadcast and multicast okay so this is uh, this reverse path forwarding is an uh, multicast routing algorithm reverse path means whenever the particular uh, router receives the packet it checks the previous one means uh, this is a particular destination or not uh, sorry this is a particular source or not so whenever the duplication will rise duplication of packets will rise uh, it discards that particular packets okay so this is about an a broadcast routing i hope you understand kindly like share subscribe easy btech for more videos thank you